I'm making this dolly with this thread and I'm using 1.75 mm crochet hook first of all we'll make a magic ring into this magic ring we'll make three chains after making this three chain this three chain will be count as a double crochet so we'll make more 17 double crochet into this ring one two three After making 17 double crochet, we'll join them with slip stitch into the third chain. Okay, now we have total 18 double crochet into this magic ring because we will count the first three chain as a double crochet and made 17 more double crochet. So this will be total 18 double crochet. After making this round second, make three chains. After making 3 chain, increase 1 more chain, total 4 chain and make a single crochet into the next chain. Make a chain, double crochet into next chain, again make a chain and double crochet into the next chain. make a chain and make a double crochet into next chain we will make double crochet plus one chain double crochet one chain double crochet one chain with this pattern we will make 18 double crochet plus one chain okay after completing round two make a slip stitch into the third chain round three make three chains this chain count as a double crochet so make two more chains one two now we have made five chains and jump towards the next chain space and make a double crochet two chains next chain space double crochet two chains next double crochet in round three we'll make two chains and one double crochet into chain space two chains and double crochet two chains and next double crochet with this pattern we'll complete round three make it now round four make a slip stitch into the next chain space make three chains one more double crochet into same chain space after making two double crochet make two chains next chain space make two double crochet one and two make two chains next chain space two double crochet in this round we'll make two double crochet plus two chains into each chain space two chains and next two double crochet with this pattern we'll complete round four okay we'll complete round four with the slip stitch into the third chain one two Three. round five make a slip stitch into the next chain and make a slip stitch into the next chain space then make three chains one two three this three chain will count as a double crochet so make two more double crochet into the same chain space one two in this round we'll make three double crochet two chains one two and we'll skip these two double crochet and make us 
double crochet into the next chain space one two and three again make two chains and jump toward the next chain space and make three double crochet together with this pattern we'll complete round five we'll just make three double crochet two chains and three double crochet into each chain space okay now round six make a slip stitch into the next chain make a slip stitch into the next chain and make a slip stitch into the next chain space make three chains make two more double crochet into the same chain space make three chains one two three and jump towards the next chain space and make three double crochet together one two Three. again make three chains and make three double crochet into the next chain space with this pattern we'll work all around round seven make a slip stitch into the next now make three chains one two three and make two double crochet two chains and three double crochet together into the same chain space Next, make a chain and jump toward the next chain space and repeat the pattern. Make a fan with three double crochet, two chain and three double crochet, three double crochet, two chain and three double crochet into the same chain space to make another fan. After making two fan stitch make a chain and jump toward the third chain space and make a double crochet three chains and make one more double crochet plus one chain in this round we'll make two two fan fan stitch into the third chain space we'll make a v stitch again make fan two three double crochet two chains and three double crochet together into the same chain space make a chain and next Make one more fan stitch. Make a chain and into the third chain we'll make a V stitch like this. Double crochet. Three chains. One, two, three. And make one more double crochet. In this round, we'll make two fan stitches into the third chain. We'll make a V, then two fan stitches and make a V. With this pattern, we'll complete this round. We've completed round seven. Make a slip stitch into the third chain. 
Now round 8, make a slip stitch into the next chain, slip stitch into the next and slip stitch into the next chain space. Now round 8, make 3 chains, 1, 2, 3, make 2 more double crochet. two chains and three more double crochet into the same chain space we'll make a fan stitch in this round we'll make two double crochet instead of one after making two double crochet jump toward the next chain space and make another fan stitch with three double crochet, two chain and three double crochet together. Two chains and three double crochet. Make two chains, one, two, after making two chain, now we have a V stitch. So we'll make one more V stitch into the previous V stitch. Three chains and one double crochet. Then make two chains. And next into this two fan we'll make two fans after making two chain now we have the V stitch so we'll make V stitch one two three and one more double crochet into the same chain then make two chains and jump toward the next fan stitch with this pattern we will complete round 8 ok we have completed round 8 with a slip stitch now round 9 make a slip stitch into the next make three chains Two double crochet, two chains and three double crochet together, in this round we will make three chains instead of two chains, one, two, three, and jump toward the next fan and make a fan. Make three chains, into the next V stage we will make a V, again three chains and jump toward the next fan stage. In this round we are just increasing one chain into each In this round we will just increase one chain and complete round 9. Ok after making 3 chain we will make a slip stitch into the third chain. With this pattern we will complete round 9. Now round 10 make a slip stitch into the next chain. Next chain slip stitch and into the next chain space make a slip stitch. Make 3 chains, 1, 2, 3, 
two double crochet into the chain space two chains and three double crochet together into the same chain space In round 11, we will make 4 chains 1, 2, 3, 4 and to the next chain space, we will make a fan stitch 3 double crochet, 2 chains and 3 double crochet together After making these two fans, again make four chains one, two, three, four, into this V stitch, make one more V stitch, three chains one, two, three, and make a double crochet, four chains one, two, three, four, and make Three double crochet, two chains and three double crochet together. One, two, three, two chains and three double crochet. Next four chains. And make a fan into the next fan, fan stitch. Make four chains into the next V. We'll make a V with this pattern. We'll complete round ten, round eleven, make three chains. Two double crochet, two chains and three double crochet together into the chain space. Make four chains one, two, three, four into next chain space. Repeat fan stitch pattern 3 double crochet 2 chain and 3 double crochet make 4 chains next we have the V stitch so make 1 double crochet in this round, we'll make 12 chains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. After making 12 chains, make a double crochet into the same stitch. Now make 4 chains 1, 2, 3, 4. And jump toward the next fan and make a fan. Four chains. Next stitch, make a fan.
like this we made two fans 12 chain and two fans and to the next weave make a double crochet after making double crochet make three chains and make a single crochet insert the hook into these two loops and make a single crochet now make a double crochet into the V stitch again make three chains one two three and make a single crochet by taking these two loops again make a double crochet into the V stitch two time and again make three chains and make a single crochet and make a double crochet into the V stitch next four chains one two three four after making four chains jump toward the next fin and repeat the flower pattern make a double crochet three chains make a single crochet by taking these two loops make a double crochet into the same chain space again make three chains single crochet again make a double crochet into the chain space and make three chains single crochet and make last double crochet into the chain space after making the flower make four chains one two three four and jump toward the next fan stitch and make same flower and to the V stitch we will also make the, this flower stitch with this pattern we will make four flower after making five flower make four chain and jump toward the next fan and make a simple fan After making this fan, make four chains, and here we have the next V stitch. So make a double crochet into it. Next, make twelve chains. One, two. After making twelve chains, make a double crochet into the V stitch. next four chain after making four chain jump toward the next fin and make a fin make four chains next chain space make a fan it will look like this two fan 12 chain space and 2 fan after making this we have another side of flower stitches so we will make 1, 2, 3, 4 in 4 chain space we will make these flower stitches 
Okay, after making four chain, join the slip stitch into the third chain. Okay, you can see this. We have completed round eleven. This round was. In this round, we have divided our dolly into two parts. Now I'll work into this, 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 this side. Now row one, make a slip stitch, make a slip stitch, and slip stitch into the chain space with three fans, sorry, three chains, make a double crochet, make one more double crochet, repeat the fan stitch. After making three double crochet, make four chains, jump toward the next fan and make a fan. After making the fan, make four chains. One, two, three, four. Now we have the twelve chain space. So we'll make twenty double crochet together into this chain space. One, two. Okay, after making 20 double crochet, make 4 chains into this next fan, make a fan. Four chains. And to next fan, we'll make one more fan. After making this fan, we'll skip the next flower stitch and turn the work from here. Into the next chain, make a slip stitch. Make three chains from here and repeat the pattern. Make a fan into the chain space. Okay, after making these two fans, make four chains. Next, we have 20 double crochets. So we'll make one double crochet into each. One, two, three. After making 20 double crochet, make 4 chain and repeat the pattern. Make a fan, 4 chain and fan. Okay, we have completed row 2, now row 3. Row 3, turn the work. And repeat row 2. Row 3 is quite same as row 2. So we'll just repeat the pattern. In row 3, we'll just make one fan, four chain, uh, one fan, four chain, and 20 double crochet 
again four chain and one chain and four chain and one again with this pattern we'll complete row three we have completed row row three for row four turn the work and make a slip stitch into the next chain now make three chains repeat the fan stitch pattern make fan four chains make another fan into the next chain space now make four chains one two three four and next we have 20 double crochet so we'll make one double crochet into the first chain after making double crochet make a chain and into next chain make one double crochet one chain one double crochet into next chain one chain one double crochet into next chain one chain one double crochet into next chain we'll make one double crochet with one chain into each next 20 ch chains after making 20 double crochet make 4 chains and make a fan into the next and 4 chain in into next into the last chain make a fan and complete row 4 now row 5 make 3 chains and make a fan after making this fan make four chains and make another fan into the next chain space after making this two fan make four chains one two three and four now we have the double crochet so insert the hook into the chain space here is my chain space and make a double crochet insert the hook into the chain space and make a single crochet then make three chains into the next chain space make a single crochet again three chains next chain space make a single crochet like this three chain make a single crochet into next chain here is the last chain space chain space here is the last chain space so we'll make last single crochet into this chain and make four chains one two three four and repeat the pattern make fan four stitch four chains and make a fan okay we have completed row five and this is my row six after making this two fan in row six we will make four chains Here is the next three chain space to make a single crochet into this chain space in each in each round we'll repeat this pattern make three chains next chain space make a single crochet three chains make a single crochet into next chain space 
नेक्स्ट चेन सिंगल क्रोशे थ्री चेन एक सिंगल क्रोशे विल मेक दिस थ्री चेन विथ सिंगल क्रोशे इन टू ईच नेक्स्ट चेन स्पेस ओके आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मेक फोर चेन एंड जम्प टू वर्ड द नेक्स्ट फेन एंड मेक मेक अ फेन विद रिपीट पैटर्न Okay, here we have completed our row six. Now row seven. Turn the work. Make a slip stitch into the next chain. Slip stitch into the next chain and slip stitch into the next chain space. Three chain. Make two double crochet, two chain, and three double crochet together. Next we have three chain space so make a single crochet into the next chain space make three chains next chain space make a single crochet three chain make a single crochet three chain make a single crochet into next chain space with this pattern we'll complete round 7 from round 7 to 22 we have same pattern so we'll complete row 7 to 22 with the same pattern okay we have completed round 22 in round 22 we have just one chain space now round 23 Now we're making four chain. Now we have just one chain space. So make a single crochet into the last chain space, and from the same place make four chains and jump toward the next fan. Make a fan, four chain in fan. Round twenty four. Make three chains, two double crochet, two chains, and three double crochet together into the same chain. Make a fan into the next fan. Okay, after making these two fan in this round, you will not make any chain. You will just connect fan two with fan three. with a double crochet and make a fan like this and make four chains and make the last fan Row twenty-five. Make a fan. One, two, three, four. Make four chain. And into the next fan, we will make a single crochet. Now make five chains. One, two, 
थ्री फोर फाइव मेक एन अदर सिंगल क्रोशे इन टू द नेक्स्ट फैन मेक फोर चेन्स वन टू थ्री फोर इन टू द लास्ट फैन विल मेक अ फैन थ्री डबल क्रोशे टू चेन्स एंड थ्री डबल क्रोशे टूगेदर like this okay we have completed ro row 25 now row 6 make a fan then make four chains after making four chain make a double crochet into the next chain space now make 10 chains Nine and ten. After making ten chain, make a double crochet into the same chain space. Now make four chains and make a fan into the next fan. row 27 make a fan in this round we'll make just three chain instead of four chains 1 2 and 3 after making three double uh, three chains we have a chain space so we'll make 12 double crochet together into the chain space 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 4 After making 12 double crochet, make 3 chains and jump towards the next fan and make a fan. Row 28 Make a fan, then make three chains, and now we have the double crochet. So we'll make one double crochet into each chain. Next chain, one double crochet. Next chain, one double crochet. we'll make one double crochet into each next chain after making 12 double crochet make three chains and make a fan into the last fan row 29 make a fan then three chain we make one double crochet into each next chain then three chain and make a fan complete the row 29 with this pattern Row thirty, make a fan, then three chains. Make a double crochet into the first chain. Make a chain. Next chain, double crochet. Make a chain, double crochet. In this row, we'll make. One double crochet with one chain. With this pattern, we'll complete all the chains. Okay, after making four, twelve double crochet with twelve chain, make three chains and make a fan into the next chain. Row thirty-one. Make a fan, then make three chains, and make a single crochet into next chain space. Three chains. Make a single crochet into next chain space. Three chains, and make a single crochet. Row 
we will make three chain and one single crochet into each next chain next make three chains and make a fan into the last fan row 32 make a fan then make three chain and now we have the chain space so make a single crochet into the first chain space then make three chains and chain space a single crochet into next chain space three chains make a single crochet into next chain space Sing three chains make a single crochet into next chain space with this pattern we'll complete row 32 okay we have completed row 32 from row 33 to 40 we'll repeat this pattern okay after completing row 40 now we'll make row 41 with a fan make it make three chains and now we have a chain space so make a single crochet into the chain space and make three chains and jump towards the next fan and make a fan row 42 make a fan and make a double crochet into the next chain and join the two fans together two three double crochet make two chains and three double crochet together like this after completing row 42 now row 43 row 40 is our final row make a slip stitch into the next chain and make a slip stitch into the next chain space make three chains In this round we will make a cluster of 6 double crochet, make an incomplete double crochet. Now we have two loops on our crochet hook, grab the yarn, insert the hook and again pull it through the two loops. Now we have these three loops and jump toward the next double crochet, grab the yarn, insert the hook into the next chain space and now we have four loops on our crochet hook insert the hook and make an incomplete double crochet now we have five and one more now we have six loops on our crochet hook and pull it through all the six loops together and cut the yarn Okay, you can see this, we have completed our first side of our dolly. With the same pattern, we'll make the second side of our dolly. We'll start to work from here. We'll skip this four flower and start to work from this side and repeat the pattern. I hope you will like it. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. I'll meet you soon with a new video. Till then, goodbye.